it's been like that for a couple of days now I tried to decalcify the machine with the gadget gadget decalcifying solution and uh, in the beginning everything was fine but then it just clocked and uh, I did pretty much everything to try to unclog it so right now I think I need to take it apart and uh, see it's probably part of a uh, calcium buildup or maybe a small coffee grind stuck in the internal tubings inside okay so make sure you take the power off water container I already have this before a long time ago it was like three or four years ago we got the same situation and I was so frustrated that I decided to check, take a chance and take it apart yeah, make sure it's already cold completely so it's not, uh, it's not that hard to get there it's just a matter of uh, matter of time and patience this is pretty good machine it's already like I don't know 10 years old and still working absolutely fine unless it's got <laughs> completely completely clogged up all right okay let me set up the camera in a better spot it will be strictly technical video basically everything pretty much straightforward two screws here take this thing put it aside now there's a bunch of contacts right here if you uh, like you can mark them with the marker which one's which Basically, my previous experience with this thing was, as you can see, there's two uh, water inlet right here, one inlet, one out, output, and when I take this apart, it was a part of uh, a fine grind in a small tube stuck in and completely block the water flow so looks like we have the same situation here again okay this is your thermostat I'm just thinking should I remove everything or I can get my Allen wrench and get everything right from the inside without taking the boiler off. Uh, you know, I probably will take the boiler off. Plastic water tube, this is your water pump, pushing the water right here through the boiler this is your relief valve yeah uh, I really don't want to take everything off because it's uh, a lot of I need a lots of steps that I need to perform but I'm afraid I have to do that I'm afraid I have to do that Alright, first of all, disconnect all the tubes, water tubes.
trying to of course remember there's only a couple of stuff you have to remember and are critical the rest of the stuff is just pretty straightforward like I said and actually it's not going anywhere but this place okay this is disconnect you have to this is your thermostat you have to take this thermostat also okay you will need a set of allen wrenches set of allen wrenches and uh, the smallest uh, crescent wrench or just a wrench to do all the uh, water connections damn it's pretty hard we also need to take this apart so this is your allen wrenches and if I'm not mistaken, all of them are metric. So, you have to have metric Allen wrenches. In order to do that. Let me see. You can see it. It's very unusual for me to shoot the footage and the camera right above your head. I need to move the entire assembly so in order to do that I will have to remove I will have to remove four bolts over here which are these bolts these bolts right here trying to find the right size okay, looks like these bolts right here are 4 millimeters yes I will try to do the decalcification of the machine every like three, four months. And uh, because the water is kind of bad here in Houston, very lots of calcium. And like I said, for the past like three years, everything was okay. No major clogged up, but this time something happened but we will see thing a little bit very accurately this handle on the way still a little bit of water right there I don't remember how how I did it last time Uh -huh. Got it. 
okay this is this part your steam regulator and hot water okay now we are free to get everything out I hope yeah this is the boiler okay there's my old marks from previous time okay where's my marker right here still water a little bit of water coming out and that's fine okay Alright, this is your boiler assembly. It's a heating, heating element, this one and this one. And now we have to take these two things. Also, man, I need to replace that gasket right there because it's already when you're brewing the coffee it's already like coming out of your carefree all right let me get a little bit more rags because there's a little bit of residual water and we'll continue okay so now we need to take this four bolts right here This one, this one's tripped, gosh, not good. So, I have to use the vice grip to remove this one. I really hope that the problems, the problem is exactly somewhere here, like it was in my previous situation but it could be also somewhere else. Be also somewhere else. So now you have to inspect those holes really thoroughly. Those holes. You see there's nothing in there. This is solenoid, you can take it off, with, take this nut off and take that solenoid off. So this hole connected to this and you can blow through it so it's not, it's not plugged up. But this one I will have to get more light and uh, I guess stronger glasses. Okay, I'm gonna get my headlight on. Inside this hole right here, there's another hole right on the bottom. And uh, 
there could be something there. You have to get something really sharp and thin and uh, kind of trying to clean it out. There is no way I can zoom in that much for you to see it, but it's inside that hole right there. And I'm not sure what exactly that hole connect to. If this one goes here, which is water supply in, this one right here, it's something else. You know, maybe it would be a good idea to put all this thing in a, inside the cup with the vinegar for some time to get that calcium buildup completely removed from there. Yeah, let me do that. Okay, vinegar. I'm gonna put everything inside. So this right here, this little rubber washer goes over here. So don't, don't forget to put it in after you're done. Okay, let's set it outside. And now we need to I need to take this little sucker out and I have to use my vice grip to do that because it's tripped. Probably need to replace that, get a stainless steel right size bolt and replace that. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay. Well, basically, here there's not much, there's only one. There's only one hole and you can blow you can blow the air through it so it's completely clean inside. As far as I can say tell. like that this is your you know it won't be a bad idea to take try to take this off and see what's inside I hope I hope it's not one piece let me try let me try. Okay. Let's 
see if I can do it with the channel lock, small channel lock. Yeah. Well, I don't see any f clocks here, but here maybe something. Yeah, there's like a little bitty hole inside. I don't know, let me try to zoom in and show it to you. Come on, focus, focus. I don't think I'm gonna be able to focus enough. You see the light? There is a little bitty hole right inside there. I don't know, I'm not gonna be able to show it to you. But you, if you take it apart, you will see and there was a partial clogged up right there but I still can't blow through it there but anyway let me put this inside the cup with the vinegar also and let's see what we have here. Honestly, I don't see any major builds up here. We can take that boiler unit off to be completely sure. But this hose is pretty big and I don't see any Yeah, they all they all clear. They all clear. Okay. Okay, I just took this plate off and look at what I have here. It's all calcium. It's all calcium. So I, I'm going to take this thing off also and put it in the vinegar. Let's see. How can I do that? Oh man. Right there.
can remove it. I guess I will need to put it inside the vinegar completely like that. Okay, I decided to take a risk and take this thing which our solenoid goes in. Try to take it apart from this part right here. See if I can do that. Now I understand why I can blow I cannot blow through that hole right here because uh, it needs to be energized. The solenoid needs to be energized to pull up to pull up that uh, shaft that inside here, the plunger. Alright, let's see if I can do that. This is the uh, this is the plunger with the spring and rubber washer, and this is that small hole I guess right here, right here. This one. And now I can blow through it. So this is clear. Okay. So when you we can put this thing back together. Back together. Very carefully. probably need to use a little bit of uh, plumber's grease because that washer won't go smoothly in. Yeah. Let me bring the plumber's grease. Okay, the plumber's grease. Let's try. Get a little bit of this thing. Put it on the washer and on the thread. And hopefully it will go smoother this time. Alright, so basically, uh, let's see what's going on with our vinegar components, it's still kind of screwed up, so alright, let, let it soak a little more, and after that I was going, I'm, I'm going to reassemble everything and see if it helped or not. Okay, I decided to Clean it with the used toothbrush. This thing, because it's so heavily calcified that it won't just soak and fall off in the vinegar. So I have to like use the brush. Okay. So I assembled my boiler unit back together 
and uh, right now basically we have to do complete our steps that we took taking this thing apart and uh, uh, after that we'll test it okay the moment of truth put everything back together all right bomb power on This is a success, guys. Nice. All right, now make sure I'm gonna make sure that there's no leak. I don't see any leak right there. Okay. Okay. The moment of truth. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully it uh, was helpful for the people who has the similar problem. Problems. Keep your brain active. Okay, almost forgot. One of the reasons this clock could could be here inside this machine because if something gets into the water through this little hole right here the water is going to be contaminated it's going to be sucked in through the pump and then go through the systems i don't know maybe some small coffee grind or a little particle uh, and it needs to be really really small to create this kind of problem so i usually get a piece of, piece of tape and put it right here and kind of seal that area that nothing will go there I mean you can get a clear tape for more aesthetical aesthetic purposes but anyway this is the uh, that's what I do <laughs>